today I am going to be putting together a two tier drink buffet for the holidays. Now, these are the supplies that I've picked up at the Dollar Tree. Every Dollar Tree, everything that I got um, with the exception of two items came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I bought this Rust-Oleum from the hardware store and this is actually going to be the color that I'm going to be spraying the tray or the buffet stand. Um, and I got the Rust-Oleum satin in white finish. And then this item right here, which is the um, Gorilla Glue, and this is um, it's the glue pen, and so I figured I would try this. It's it's good for glass and you know pretty much all surfaces, so I figured I would try that out. Um, I did buy this fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree. wasn't sure how it was going to work. Um, sometimes you never know what you're going to get when you get stuff from the Dollar Tree like this, but I got this to try. I mean, it says it's good for rubber, wood, and metal. It doesn't say anything about glass. That's the only reason why I was kind of unsure. But, um, that's why I bought the Gorilla Glue just in case. Um, so then I purchased these little storage containers and I'm going to be using four of them for the feet of the buffet tray. Now these are the trays that I'm going to be using. I also picked up three of these glass candle holders from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using three of those. And then I picked up um, two of these smaller plastic black trays and two of these larger plastic silver trays. Now the reason I picked up two is because when on its own, um, if you're just using one plastic tray, it's pretty flimsy. And um, I actually dropped something on it and you can see it I already made an indentation just from dropping something on it. So they're pretty flimsy on their own, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be gluing two of them together and it makes it a lot more sturdy. So that's why I bought two of each of these instead of just one. So I'm gonna be gluing these two together right here and then I'm also gonna be gluing these two larger. The larger are a little bit more sturdy, but they're even more so sturdy when you glue two of them together. Cause when there's two together, that's that's really like a substantial feeling. So let's get started with this project. All right guys, so I opened up my Gorilla Glue and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two trays together. So I'm gonna be making one heavier tray out of the two trays that we have. And by doing that, I'm actually just going to flip it over. I'm gonna take some of the Gorilla Glue and I'm just going to, let me see if this is even open. This might not even be open yet. Okay, well, I ended up opening up the dollar store super glue because the one that I purchased from the hardware store, the Gorilla Glue, is like hardened all the way through the container. So I'm gonna have to bring that back. Okay, so I went ahead and glued this one together and I ended up, what I did was I used some of that, um, the fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree. I used that on the, like the inside part, but then I went around and hot glued the edges. So just underneath the lip, I used some hot glue. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Um, it's these, This is a little bit lighter of a plastic, so I don't know how it's gonna take to the hot glue, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use some of the adhesive just on the inside it around on this portion of the tray and then I'll go around the edge here with the hot glue and then I'll just flip it upside down. So I'm going to be doing that now. Okay so I'm done gluing both of these trays together and it's much easier to use the hot glue gun. Um, I did use both glues but I used the hot glue just to kind of hold it in place um, until the other glue sets. So I'm gonna take the larger of the tray, I'm gonna flip it upside down, 
And I have these little containers that I had gotten. They have these little covers on them, so I just pulled the covers off. But I'm gonna be using these as feet on the bottom of this tray, just like so. I'm gonna go all the way around, kind of just make sure that they're even, just like that. And I'm gonna hot glue those down so that they are you know, little feet on the bottom of the tray. So I've gone ahead and hot glued these little feet to the bottom of this tray, just like so. They aren't like perfectly lined up, but they're, they're good enough. And so that's what it looks like from a side view. And now the tray sits up nicely off of the table. So that way it, it just looks a little bit more, um, I don't know, like a little bit more put together when it's got the feet on it. Like maybe a little bit more, not so plastic. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. So there's that first part done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing these two of these glass pieces together. So we're gonna glue the glass pieces together first. We've got one here. Yeah one over here and so we're going to be gluing them um, so that the large side is at the bottom and then the two small sides are together and then there's another large side at the top so we're going to glue those together just like that and I'll probably do the same thing I'll probably use the adhesive and the hot glue for this um, I don't have any E6000 glue which would be normally what I would use. That's why I bought that Gorilla Glue thinking that that would work but since it's hard I'm not able to use it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this and or I'm gonna go ahead and glue this together. Alrighty so now before I glue all of these pieces together I'm gonna go out and spray paint everything white in my garage. So I'm gonna make sure that I spray paint the top and bottom of the <laughs> tray and both sides of the second tray and um, all of the tall um, pedestal piece and the small piece right here so the three candlesticks all together and both trays are all going to get painted this rust-oleum satin white finish So I've gone ahead and sprayed the bottoms of everything down with the white paint and I'm out in my garage because it's pretty strong smelling. You don't want to do it in your house. Definitely do it somewhere that's ventilated. And um, I, literally I just sprayed the bottoms as best as I could. You're not going to see the bottoms. so. Um, I was actually more careful with spraying the glass candlestick pieces because that is going to be the spot that you're going to see and then you're going to see the opposite sides of the trays. Well, my tray is all glued together and actually what I did as well on the very bottom of the tray, I'm just going to flip it up like this, um, I had some of those um, felt uh, sticky things that go on the bottom of like your feet of your furniture and so I ended up putting four of them on the feet of the tray as well because what I found was because it, they were spray painted, they were still, even though it was dry, it was still like sticking to my countertop and I didn't want that. So I went ahead and just put those felt, uh, felt things on and now it's perfect. Now it actually, you know, sits nicely. One thing with this tray is this is like not meant for like anything heavy it's more so meant for like decorative purposes and to kind of like you know organize your um ingredients used for like a beverage bar or a beverage stand like what i'm doing here you can do it for anything this would actually be great if you used it at like christmas time and you put like christmas cookies in the bottom and then you did some like floral or something at the top Something that's not too heavy at the top because it is wobbly and it's only wobbly because we're using these like plastic trays. You know, if we used something a little bit more sturdy, then you could, you know, put something heavier at the top. But um, for what I'm using it for, it's going to be perfect. 
So now I'm going to actually show you how I put my whole cart here together, or my, my whole little tray together. Um, now that it's all glued and everything, it's ready to decorate. So what I did was I took some of that green ribbon that I used for my um, silverware settings, and I just made a little bow just around the top of the little top handle piece. And I took another one of those leaves because I'm going to be using this for Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, I wanted it to kind of match with my Thanksgiving theme. And I'm just sticking one of those little leaves just in the top, just like this. Nothing fancy. You're not really going to see this very much. It's just really to give it some color. Then I took some faux. Um, these are just little pieces of greenery. I ended up buying some more little pieces of greenery that I put on my mantle. And so I just grabbed a couple of these pieces just to maybe use in this tray, which I probably stick these in more so after, but I'm going to be putting some of that greenery up on the top of the tray. Then I grabbed another one of these doilies, and this is one of the doilies that I used um, for my place settings, and I also used them on my dining room table for my um, underneath my charger plates. So um, what I did was I went ahead and I just cut a line to the center, and then I cut a little X like in the center. So we have these little flaps like this. That way, I can take this doily and wrap it, oops, wrap it around the base of the stand like that, and it fits nicely. So that way, it gives it kind of just a little something extra um, rather than just like the plastic tray bottom. So then what I did was these are those pretty little glass mugs that I got from the Dollar Tree. I bought six of them. And all I'm doing is I'm going to actually just place these all around the base of the tray. Just like so. And I found that um, I, six of them fit perfectly um, at the base. Um, I'm actually using one of them. I'm going to put some spoons in one of them. And that's so people have spoons to like stir their sugar and whatever. Pour their, put their hot chocolate in their cup. And then I put napkins in another one. And these were just napkins that I had from, I don't know, we had a party or something. So I just had some extra napkins. So I put that in there like that. Then I picked out what I wanted to serve for hot beverages. Now I use my Keurig, so I made sure that I had some Keurig cups. Um, we have the apple cider and the hot chocolate. Um, so I wanted to put those on the tray as well. And I also have some of the tea, the winter spice tea. Um, I have the Starbucks peppermint hot cocoa. And then I have the Tiavana Pumpkin Spice Brulee um, tea as well. So um, I'm going to rearrange these all on the top of this little tray right here. And I'm going to basically just put the larger, the larger ones towards the back like that. And then I'm going to grab my K-cups and I'm going to kind of put the K-cups in the front like that and I'm going to put these ones over on this side I can put some coffee ones as well because I have some coffee k-cups as well I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what you can do you can do whatever you want with it really it's you know pretty versatile I mean you could do like breakfast stuff instead if you didn't want to do drinks you could do like um, you know muffins and bagels down the bottom and then donuts around the top you could do anything like that or you know um, You could even do like the little boxes of cereal down the bottom whatever it's, it's just a really cute way to display your breakfast items and You know it's for being so reasonable like really I only spent let's see one two three on the feet uh, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, um, and then, you know, nine dollars, let's see, eight plus like maybe four dollars for the spray paint, but the spray paint I'm gonna use for, you know, many other projects, because I definitely didn't, you know, use it all up. So ten dollars at the most is what I spent on this little tray, and it's, you know, a really cute little tray that I'll be able to use a lot during the holidays. So I'm just gonna stick my teas in the front, and then take some more of this greenery and kind of just like stick it in and around something like that. And there you have it, super simple, just a nice way to display your drinks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more holiday DIYs especially from the dollar store not all from the dollar store but a lot of them are um, coming up here before this holiday season um, just a little sneak peek at the next DIY project I have going on here is this cute little bird inside this little terrarium so I'm gonna be doing a DIY on that and that's also a dollar store DIY but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great day and we will see you soon